Welcome to a new vlog. Things have been busy for both my professional and my personal life, so my video upload frequency has come down, but this has given me the opportunity to spend a little more time with the test instruments that are being sent in for review, which should hopefully give me a better chance of providing you with a hands-on experience um, on reviewing these. Today, we're taking a closer look at the O1 CMS 101, which is a more modern type clamp meter from Owen. They sent this in for the purpose of the review, but no payment has been received and they don't get to control any of the things that they say in this video. But that has been my policy right from the start of the YouTube channel, so you must be used to that by now. The unit comes in this soft carry bag and will include a set of test leads which have PVC insulated wire, but it's good quality soft one. Uh, they do come with a right angle connector, uh, which is not you know, quite optimal for the insertion angle on the meter. You'll also be getting a uh, USB type A to USB type C charging cable uh, inside the bag, as well as some minimal uh, paper documentation. I'm sure you have noticed the uh, trend in recent years, especially from Asian test equipment manufacturers. They do like to include you know, multiple test instruments into one to increase the value to the customer. And while this might not be a selling point for someone that does you know, high precision, high resolution, extensive functionality type of measurements in the lab, it can certainly be a good selling point for the average hobbyist or handyman where he would be getting more for the money. And personally, I do see some value into having an oscilloscope type fun functionality in a clamp meter for viewing the current and voltage waveform, as that can certainly help with debug. As you'll notice, the unit is physically quite large and is powered by an internal rechargeable lithium-ion 18650 cell, which comes pre-populated and should give you an estimated maximum run time of 18.5 hours with a charge time to full of 8 hours. I wasn't able to test the full run time because it's just too long, but what I can say is that I've had it running for many hours and the battery indicator didn't even drop a segment, so all things point to this having an excellent battery life. I find that uh, charging time to be extremely long, but that's what the manual says. I'll actually have a look at the charging current in a moment to try and validate that claim. Okay, so it's showing that it's charging and it's pulling uh, roughly 500 milliamps uh, from the charger. Now, based on that 2.6 amp hour 18650 cell that's inside this thing, charging to full should take, you know, roughly five and a half hours which is better than the claimed eight hours in the data sheet, but I don't know why they put that figure in there. The screw on the battery cover is nicely retained, so you won't easily lose it. And this is the 18650 cell inside. It's a uh, 2.6 amp hour cell. The build quality feels very decent, the blue part um, being a soft rubbery feel material while the orange and the grey parts are just solid ABS plastic. At the top we have the current clamp, has very nice uh, spring action, feels nice and solid and this would be used for your contactless current measurement. It can measure AC and DC from 20 amps to 1000 amps and on the 20 amps the range um, on the 20 amps range the resolution is 10 milliamps on the bottom we get this set of banana jacks um, for the multimeter functionality and the usb connection which is right next to those feels very concerning to me i hope people who get this do have the common sense not to plug any uh, usb in there while doing any of uh, high voltage contact measurements with the test leads and we'll take a closer look at this later on during the third down because they do mention input protection in the user manual but without other details you know about isolation um, we'll have to evaluate that later on like mentioned earlier the provided test leads uh, have a 90, 90 degree uh, banana connector so I don't feel like that's optimal for this form factor I would very much prefer if they would supply uh, straight leads I feel like these would connect much nicer using the wire test leads the multimeter can measure AC and DC up to 
uh, a thousand volts resistance capacitance frequency duty cycle diode and also includes a non-contact voltage detector function and generally this is rated as a true rms 20,000 count meter but that counts figure only applies to the voltage measurement while the current measurement as you can see here is actually a 2000 count measurement on top of these the meter does add basic oscilloscope functionality for voltage and current waveforms with an analog bandwidth of 1 MHz for voltage and 1 kHz for current with a 5 Meg sample per second sampling rate and it can display measurements like you know RMS value frequency, mean max, peak to peak and average. Personally I would have liked to see something like a 500 kHz bandwidth on the current waveform because then it would have been really nice to see details when you look at a DC to DC converter maybe but I do understand that technically that's much harder to obtain uh, through this type of uh, clamp uh, sensing technique. Now on top of all of these the multimeter does contain a Bluetooth interface and if you install their app which is called O1 iMeter available for both iOS and Android uh, you have to activate the BLE connection by uh, a long press on this button and it will start uh, showing a Bluetooth icon up there next to the battery indicator. So now uh, you can connect using the smartphone app where you get the measurement data and you can also use the data logging feature which is quite nice and useful. And if this video doesn't get too long maybe we'll get uh, more into the details of that towards the end. But first let me mention something and potentially ask for your feedback in the comments because when I first got this meter into my hands and I saw the current clamp capability I saw the multimeter test leads uh, banana input so my first thought was if I can do non-contact current and contact voltage measurement uh, through the test leads can it calculate and show power because together with the data logging feature that could be very useful to have then you're truly combining two instruments into one but unfortunately on the meter itself there is no such functionality why and this is also a question to you my viewers do you think the same when you see such a design is this a wasted opportunity or not on Owen? because you know switching to the mobile app looked promising while in scope mode the data logger shows VA measurement when the scope is set to volts and watts when the scope is on amps mode but unfortunately the values it shows there are absolute garbage I've tried zeroing the clamp I've also tried switching back to DMM mode, zeroing there and then going back to scope mode. I tried both AC and DC measurements. Again, the values shown for power, although they varied uh, during my testing, they're still garbage. They don't show the real measured values. So it looks like potentially the most useful functionality out of this meter was only implemented in the mobile app and even there it's half-baked it's not working as intended the multimeter does feature auto ranging capability but it is very slow for example uh, here in uh, oscilloscope view if I connect it into mains to 40 volts AC this is how long it takes As you saw it is a little faster in DMM mode and I quite like how it adds this red gradient on the uh, top part of the, the screen signaling high voltage danger and on top of the slow auto ranging I've also noticed some kind of a bug where it would simply get stuck and not auto range when I connect it to mains AC to 40 volts even though it was on the correct AC voltage measurement function only turning it off and back on again would get it back on the right track uh, and it seems that it gets into this bad state whenever you switch between multimeter mode and oscilloscope mode while being already connected to voltage to mains voltage in my case There are also a couple of things that I really like because of their simplicity. For example, backlight brightness adjustments gives you three levels, which is nice and simple. 
and you can also choose between a light and a dark theme which again is very nice and I very much prefer a dark theme on my multimeters. The clamp meter uh, seems to be measuring uh, correctly. I'm measuring a light bulb, so purely a resistive load here. Remember that the wire theoretically should be going straight through the middle of your clamp for the maximum precision, but it still does uh, very good even with the wire on the side of the clamp. The continuity check is definitely latched. It's very fast and uh, I quite like it. It's one of the best that I've tested. Certainly adequate for the job and I'm sure most users will like this kind of continuity test. The diode test is rated for 3 volts, so you should have no problem even with testing white LEDs which have a higher forward voltage. The meter does have inrush uh, current uh, measurement capability, and the way to activate that is by switching to the next tab and then activating the inrush function, then it will say inrush on screen. So uh, the way I have this connected right now is to my air compressor and I'm going to turn that on to capture the inrush current. Yep, and I've repeated this test and the value is always 5.4 amps. So yep, the functionality is there and it works as expected. And this is a very useful function to have on a clamp meter. Now I'm sure you guys are as curious as I am to take a look inside this meter. There's three self-tapping screws to be taken out and now we can take a peek inside. And one word of caution here, not all three screws are the same size with the one in the middle uh, being longer and looks like uh, probably the same diameter, just a longer screw. Now, first let's mention how this uh, enclosure is built because we do have this kind of double or should I say triple wall construction here which is uh, great for reliability and safety aspects because it is, it, it is capable of containing whatever happens to the inside of the enclosure. Uh, there's even this um, uh, inner uh, shield thing which goes into the into this area uh, around the um, uh, clamp action handle to prevent any you know internal explosion or arcing uh, to escape uh, through this space which is great there is a single uh, PCB um, assembly inside holding everything again great for a uh, manufacturing perspective the red wire that we see here is probably for the NCV sensor, which is uh, located inside the clamp, while the flat flex we see here is probably for the current clamp measurement sensor. We do have a date code printed here, which says 2509. This could signal 2025 week 9, so uh, it would mean that this is quite a recent uh, production batch. The main MCU in here is an HC32F460, quite a decently powered ARM Cortex-M4 MCU, obviously a clone of the STM32F460. This would be handling the UI and display, and I would expect on the other side of this to find maybe a Bluetooth module. Uh, we do have a bunch of uh, pins in here, including this 3-pin uh, um, uh, connector, and there's also some TX and RX markings on this uh, on these pins. The main multimeter ASIC which is located here has its numbers rubbed off. Uh, in terms of input protection since this only does voltage based measurements on the input it doesn't need a high current fuse protection. Uh, it does have a PTC in here to limit the uh, inrush current and a stack of uh, series resistors to divide the input voltage and to increase the creepage distance. Uh, then probably around here we do have some pairs of bipolar transistors clamping the input. I don't see any MOVs uh, protecting the input, but then on the USB uh, input, which is here, uh, we do notice an isolation transformer. Uh, so that is an isolated power input, so technically safe to use even while doing measurements uh, through the uh, test leads with the meter, although I would not do it just as a good safe practice. All in all, I would say a very clean and uh, nice construction in here with the only thing missing 
a MOV for improved uh, transient input protection. And nice attention to detail, the screw holding in the battery cover is a metal threaded insert. So if I was to sum this up, on the plus side we have some decent build quality inside and outside and the capability to do easy data logging over Bluetooth for voltage and current plus the additional resistance, capacitance, diode, continuity measurements all in one with the clamp meter. On the downside, it is a pretty reflective screen surface and it only gives you a 2000 count on the clamp current meter, which is less than what I would like uh, to make it useful for my electronics workbench, but certainly adequate for higher power electrical work. Also on the downside, they missed on the opportunity of implementing a power measurement. Uh, the auto ranging is slow and buggy. If you switch between operating modes, sometimes it can lock up. Um, so it would be nice if O1 could release a firmware update over Bluetooth to address these issues. But will they do that? I'm not even sure that's possible. What I would advise you is to never buy something on the promise of it getting a firmware update in the future. Evaluate it for what it is at the time of purchase. But how do you feel about everything shown here? Let me know in the comments below. And if you're interested in getting one of these, I will place links in the description below to AliExpress and Amazon. That was all for today. Thank you for watching and I'll be seeing you next time.